Hello and welcome back to another session. So recently there's been a lot of talk about CSNOT. It's particularly, well, I wouldn't say popular, but there's a lot of it in the Marmara Sea right now, so around Turkey and Istanbul. And it's been this slimy layer of something that's been floating on the surface. Now many people in the last weeks kept coming back to me and asking me what the hell is actually this sea snot. So this week I'm going to try explain a little bit more what it is, where it comes from and what the hell it's doing here anyways. Turkey is struggling to stop the spread of a slimy substance accumulating in its seas. The outbreak of the naturally occurring mucus-like matter is the biggest on record, and if, un if left untreated, experts warn the sludge could soon coat large parts of Turkey's coastal waters. First of all, sea snot is really an algae. And many people, when they say algae that grows in rates like it does right now, they call it an algae bloom. So that's the first small mistake. Since algae don't bloom, it can't really be an algae bloom. So really what it is, is a phytoplankton kind. So plankton is everything that drifts in water and can't swim against the current. And we make a difference between zooplankton and phytoplankton. So zooplankton is everything animal and phytoplankton is everything algae. So basically what sea snot is, is a phytoplankton, so an algae that's so small and free floating in general that, well, it's phytoplankton. So that's what it is. Right now, however, because the water is so warm and the nutrition in the water is so much, basically it means there's no limit to the growth. So it can just grow like an explosion. Now this comes with a couple of little issues. The so first one is, well, the algae as such would just be tiny, small, and they can interconnect. So this is where it gets interesting, because once they start interconnecting, by the very nature of an algae, it does produce oxygen. So eventually there will be oxygen bubbles, air bubbles, inside the accumulated bits and pieces that kind of hitch together, and that will make them float on the surface. So this is one part of it. At some point, there's so much of it on the surface that it actually builds thick layers. And once this thick layer is on top, that's what we see in the Marmara Sea right now. Now, at the sea surface, it's mostly unpleasant for the eye, but also comes with a couple of other issues. Because this layer will keep getting thicker and thicker and thicker, and at some point, it gets so heavy that it starts sinking down again. So when the sea snot layer, basically, sinks down through the entire water column, basically what it does, it's it is acting as a filter. So it will work its way from the surface all the way down to the bottom of the sea. And in the process or on the way, it will take out everything that's in here. So that means afterwards we will have crystal clear water and it will look beautiful and people will start thinking that everything is done and over and everything is good again. But the reality will be that basically there's nothing left in the water. So no nutrition, no plankton, no nothing. It's just empty seawater at that point. Plus, everything that is on the bottom will be underneath a layer of this slimy stuff. So there's not a huge survival rate at that point. So, and that is where the other issue kicks in. And that is everything that is sea snot or that is this phytoplankton, it doesn't live very long. And by the very nature of anything that dies off or is basically decomposing, it does use oxygen from the system. So that again means that it will suck out oxygen from the seawater that it's living in or living on, floating on. And that again means that the oxygen levels in the sea at this time will decrease. So depending on how far that goes, it can be anywhere between not a big issue down to everything collapses. 
that's just what we got right now. And here's the breaking news. Seasnot is well, obviously right now famous in the Turkey area, but it's already worked its way into the Black Sea as well and into the Aegean Sea. We are right now in the Adriatic Sea, so we don't see a lot on the surface. Every now and then you see a small patch floating by on the surface. But once we go underwater, we actually do see the same phenomenon already quite a bit. So the thing is, yes, it is phytoplankton. Yes, it should be free floating, but it can grow anywhere. So it can be on the bottom, it can be on the surface. And if it attaches to something on the bottom, it means a little bit of air, a little bit of oxygen won't make it float back up to the surface. So what it does here right now is it is basically covering lots of other algae as well as lots of the Posidonia. So we have actually seen entire Posidonia meadows where the top layer of it is completely covered in this sea snot. And how this will continue is to be left open because right now we are experiencing incredible temperatures. So right now the air is above 30 degrees and it's July. So usually this sort of temperature we have in August, late August maybe. And the water temperatures we had 27 degrees yesterday. So that's usually the high season summer temperatures of the Adriatic Sea. So bottom line being the water and the air right now are incredibly hot and much warmer than they used to be. And yes, it is a kick-ass summer this year and it is incredibly warm already and we're actually melting away on the boat. But all this does come with drawbacks. So the increased temperature as well as all the nutrition that comes in from River Pool, but also from hundreds and thousands of charter boats and obviously also private boats. So we all add nutrients into the sea and that in combination with the high temperatures is just a very beneficial combination for all the phytoplankton as well as any other algae. So basically the one that can grow the quickest, which is the smaller the quicker, so it is phytoplankton, is currently winning. And that's just what we are watching in real time right now. So if you want to keep posted on how the situation evolves here in the Adriatic and further down our route, make sure to keep following us on Instagram and our other social channels. We are on Facebook, Instagram and well, YouTube mostly. So here we shoot up a new video every week. Everywhere else you can hear updates from us on a daily basis. And if you like what you see and if you like to well, see more of this kind of content, please consider signing up on Patreon as well and support our work. It is literally what keeps this boat afloat. So thank you very much for watching this time and I hope to see you back in a week. All the best. Bye bye.